press the start button and the twin turbo V6 settles into an almost silent idle. Blip the throttle and there's a satisfying rasp from the exhaust, but it's subdued and unobtrusive. Gear selection is accomplished with a series of large buttons beneath the center LCD screen. Those buttons are integrated into the dash in a way that makes them easy to overlook at first, but acclimation comes quickly. What is obvious is that the V6 is almost as responsive here as it is in the F-150 Raptor. The Navigator may be massive, but it moves like Dick Butkus in his heyday. The last jumbo Lincoln SUV that CD tested was a 2016 Navigator L4X4 equipped with a 380 horsepower version of the twin turbo V6 and a 6-speed automatic transmission. It had 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and ran the quarter mile in 14.9 seconds at 92 mph. That's steaming for a truck that weighed in at 63-61 pounds. The 2018 version is lighter, has more power and more gears and should be a bit quicker. We'll have to wait until we get to test one to see if it can break into the high fives in the 60 mile per hour dash, as can an Escalade or a Mercedes GLS 450 we think it could do better than that, actually. Every vehicle in this rarefied category carries enough technology to manage the Department of Veterans Affairs and has climate controls more advanced than those of the Dallas Cowboys AT and Amp. T Stadium what the Navigator has working most to its advantage is how well it drives. The steering is precise if not particularly communicative, the suspension is aided by an excellent roll stability system, and the adaptive dampers found on higher trim versions work great. The big 285-45R22 tires stay planted, tread to pavement, even when the truck is diving into corners like a 3-ton Mustang GT. With running boards and only modest ground clearance, the Navigator is not built for extreme off-road duty but when it comes to pulling a horse trailer out of a muddy paddock. It will do the job, 